Hey, Shalom. I want to start off saying, Kaa Allah Yim La, Yehawah Ba'ashim, Yehawashai, Ba'ashim Ba'chakudash, which means give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yehawah, and His only begotten Son, Yehawashai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. Let the Almighty Son of God Allah has claimed, Shalom Allah, which means give our honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of great minstone, who teach you well, and Shalom Allah Ba'chiyah, Shalom Allah, which means peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come in with you again with through the spirit power of Yahweh so much shall with another lesson. You know, the lesson gonna be um on this article and also on the brother I not from the JMS Memphis Count and the lesson gonna be on this article, you know, from travelpurse um, dot com. It say um Dr. Um, Farchi says C nineteen vaccine could become mandatory for travel and and it was published January the second, year twenty twenty one, the year of haste. You know, the year of haste, so the second coming of a big brother. You know, yeah, how about you, my child, man? The year of haste, you know? So, right, I'm going to get into it a little bit and you'll be edified. It's saying a statement that is sure to spark de debate from anti Massine supporters, as well as civil liberties proponents. The nation pre immune immunologists, am I saying that right? So, like you. An infectious disease expert said it's quite possible that having the vaccine for C-19 become a requirement in order to travel, you know? That having the vaccine for C-19 becomes a requirement in order to travel. Anything is on the table. Anything is possible, of course. Dr. Anthony Fossey, Fossey director of the National Institute of Al Allergy and Infectious Disease told on Newsweek in the interview. <laughs> it said, Fauci, who has worked closely with President Trump for the last 11 months and battling, battling the, uh, you know what, said he didn't believe the vaccine would be mandated by the federal government but by state and local governments or other ent ent entities. I'm not sure it's the, um, you know, if I say they go, you know, I'm going to get a strike. But you know what? Going to be ma mandatory from a central government, right? I'm not sure it's the um, C-19 vaccine going to be mandatory from the central government standpoint, like the federal government mandates but there are going to be individuals, institutions that I'm sure are going to mandate it. He said, for example, influenza and hepatitis B vaccines are mandated at many hospitals. You see? Here at the NIH, I would not be allowed to see patients if I didn't get vaccinated every year with flu and get vaccinated once with hepatitis B. I have to get certified every year. If I didn't, I can see patients. It's certainly not the first time that the idea of a travel passport has come up. Many states are already requiring proof of negative C tests for travel, such as New York, which requires 14 days of quarantine upon arrival or three days of quarantine and a negative test on the fourth day. It's not up to me to make a decision. Fossey said, but these are all things. So like I said, but these are all things that will be discussed under the Biden administration. I will not be surprised as we get into the full scoop of C-19 vaccination that some companies, uh, some hospitals, some organizations might require vaccinations. So right, this pretty much it on this article, but you can see a a a about to become mandatory, man. And, and this is just a step closer to the chip, you know, the mark of the beast, man. It's it's gradualism it, 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 in its uh finest, you know. What it say, we're not ignorant of the same device, but hey, as you can see, man, unrighteous decrees, low when I grab that, you know. It said, um, you know, Maxine could become mandatory for travel, man. He already got some, uh, no jab, no job. Said, no jab, no fly. 
That might be the name of the title. <laughs> but I'm going to start with Revelation 13 and 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. And spake as a dragon. Like he spake as a dragon, man. You know? Draconian. This is well, this what it means. Draconian. You know? From the etymology. And um, just uh, go like this. In reference to laws, wickedness, extremely severe or harsh. Right, his harsh laws, man. You see? Which goes back to dragon, man. You know? He spake as a dragon, man. How? Because his harsh, wickedness laws, man. You know? Isaiah 21. Woe unto them that decree unwatches decrees in their right grievous which they have prescribed, you see? Unwatches decrees, man. Unwatches laws, man. Like it said in the NLT, unfair laws, man. You know? What it said, to, do, to turn aside the need from judgment to take away the right from the, from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless, man. You know? So unwatches decrees, man. Psalms 94 and 20. Should the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frame it mischief by a law? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood, man. And this Esau Edom, the wicked. You know the so called white man, Malachi the fourth chapter, man. This is the wicked, man. They're framing mischief by law, by law, man. You know what Daniel 7 twenty five. It said, and he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall without the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws and they should be given it's like, and they should be given to his hand to a time and times and the divine of times, man. But uh, that's the point, changing times and laws, man. Because they don't, hey, they don't follow the laws of the Bible, man. And, and, and that's what in on the Bible. They don't follow it. They don't keep it. Psalms 15 and 16, but unto the wicked, the Most High said, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes. Or that thou should take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing that Hades instruction and cast my word behind thee, man. You know? So right, man, this this E, man. Get one more on I'm my close. The Psalms 15 and um I started one. It said, Do ye indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do ye judge uprightly, or ye sons of man? Yet in heart you walk wickedness. You wait the violence of of your hands in the earth. Right? So, yeah, in, in heart you walk wickedness, man. We see that. On watch the decrees, you know. We see that, man. He, you wait the um, violence of, of your hands in the earth, man. You know? This just came to my mind, so like it, man. Uh, Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and walk evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. You see? Hey, you know who this is. It's the devil. The elites, you know? Esau Edom, man. Woe to them, man. You see? You can read too on your own, you know? But hey, that's the point. Lord, we'll help you ratify it. Once again, give our praises to Yahweh Bashem Ashah Bashem Akakodash. The bonus to the apostles and elders of great men stone, teach your way and peace and love to the elect. With that, shalom, cry, master, Allah,